Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. So it's going to be a special tutorial today. This is um, more advanced and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build equivalent exchange without mods. So what this practically does is I'm going to throw in this diamond here and it's going to outburst out me 25 iron. And I would say 25 iron is equal to one diamond. So we're going to pop that diamond in that hopper there. And we're gonna wait. Um, it takes a little. It takes a little second. And then we're gonna look in this chest, and it's gonna output us 25 iron. Now this is going to be a two-part series. Um, so the opposite way is if I put a 25 iron in, it's going to give me one diamond. So, but uh, that's going to be in the next part. We're just gonna be building this part for now. So if I throw in a diamond, it's gonna give me 25 iron. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to build this. So I hope you enjoy. So what you are going to need is 3 sticky pistons, 2 normal pistons, 28 redstone dust, 8 redstone torches, 5 redstone repeaters, 3 redstone comparators, 1 block of redstone, 1 trapped chest, 4 normal chests, 7 hoppers, and 64 block of trees. Now the first thing that we're going to be doing is the item detector and basically what this does, it detects if you put the right item in and if you have it will send out a pulse and that will go to the rest of the machine. So let's do this. Now you want to place one normal chest and then you'll get out your hoppers, place two on top of it and jump and hold shift while you're doing that and then right click so you can place them. Then get your block of choice out and place three at the back of the chest here on the first one place a redstone comparator facing away and then redstone dust on the remaining two place a redstone torture on this end block on this side place a block in front of that redstone there so it won't connect up when I place one here F place a redstone repeater facing to the front then a block in front of it and a piece of redstone dust on top of it so we're not completely done for the item detection, we've actually got to configure it now. So if we open up this bottom hopper here, you want to stick 18 of the item or block you want to detect in the first slot. Then in the remaining four slots, uh, stick a command block in, and I'll tell you why. So if I put cobblestone or any other block that's easily accessible by a normal player, they're going to be able to throw a piece of that item while block in and it's going to send out a pulse and we don't want them to do that we only want them to have diamonds so command blocks uh, you have to need you need cheats you need to be the admin of the server or something like that if you're a normal server player you generally won't have access to this so that's why it's good to put a command block in and that's practically it for it. I'll just tell you how this works so when you throw a diamond in when it goes over to 23 because there is technically 22 in there right now when it hits over to 23 items it will make it will extend this redstone signal up to here which will then turn that torch off which will turn this redstone off and it will pass one item through into this chest and I'll give you an example so if I uh, put a diamond oops a diamond in there you see that the jet just sent turned off and it actually sends a signal from this one which is going to go this way for the rest of the machine so let's get on to the next part so the next thing that we've got to build is a piston T flip flop and this is a really useful redstone contraption. Um, so just get out your block of choice, you want to extend that block out one, put a redstone repeater facing away, put a block in front of that redstone repeater then put one right of it. Put redstone on top of these two blocks, redstone torches on the ends, place a block under this block here and then get your two normal pistons out and you want to face them into the center so you have to go on the side like that and then do it like that so I'll just give you a little example of what it looks like there okay and that's practically it for the piston T flip flop what we've got to do now is actually get that block over to the other side there so if you want to head over to your hopper and just place in one diamond like ooh, or one item like that, you'll see that, that that just flipped around and it will do vice versa if I put it another one in. But yeah, uh, let's get into the next section of this build. So the next thing that we've got to do is actually build a timer and this is for say when a person puts in their item, 
we want this timer to go off and while that timer is going off it's actually dispensing the right amount of items um, equivalent to the item that they put in there. So to do this I'm actually using a design I found I got off Etho so um, thank you Etho for, for coming up with a good timer design I'll put his channel link in the description. So you want to put a redstone torch under this piston head here put a piece of redstone in front of the piston there and then there like a little L shape then going away place a redstone repeater a block on top block in front of it redstone on top a block in front of that and then do that two times and then uh, drag the redstone up there now on this right side of the blocks place two redstone torches and then you're going to have to get out your hoppers here and now you're going to have to place one under the redstone torch under this one place it with a funnel connecting to that one destroy that hopper and then place it again connecting it up to that one so the funnels go in, into each other get your redstone comparators out and place them on the ends of the hoppers here facing away get your block of choice place it where in the uh, direction of the, the comparator there so it go, the signal goes into it and then on the right side of them place redstone dust and then we're going to place a redstone block in front of this hopper here get your sticky pistons out Oops. place one facing into the center like that and then do exactly the same in front of that redstone there so it should have a gap now this is the bit where we've got to configure how many items we want to dispense out um, for when someone puts in an item over at that hopper over there for example the diamond we want to give them 25 iron so uh, I'm just going to be using uh, you don't have to actually put the iron in here this is just a timer so you can use any item but I recommend yeah, you use the ones that stack up uh, to 64 so if I'm going to do 25 you want to put one less than 25 in here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Blah, blah 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 so one less than 25 is 24 and then in this left one put one in there and I'm not entirely sure why um, I've got to do this but it's something to do with the timing uh, not going fast enough and it just lets one in there um, by accident but it actually still counts out 25 blocks for you so don't worry so if, for example if you did 50 put 49 in here then one in there now that's it for the timer. What we've got to do next is build uh, a little control. I'm not sure if I invented this or something like that, but it's like a pulse signaler from a constant pulse. So if I flicked on a lever, it would send out a quick pulse, but the lever can still be flicked, it, still be down, which is really cool. It's easy if I show you an example. So I need to place a redstone in front of that piston head, place a block in front of it, and a redstone torch on top and then a block on top of that redstone torch. Now on this side going to the front we want to place four blocks. Go on top of the blocks and you want to go to the second one here. You want to go out to the right. You want to go out to the front like that and then you want to put a block in between that gap there and you should have a little hole now you want to place a redstone dust there and a redstone dust there place a repeater facing out to the left and put it on a two tick delay this one just put it facing that way and that's by default a one tick put a block there redstone torch on that side sticky piston in that corner and then a uh, block of your choice in front of there make sure it's pushable and stuff now the last thing that we got to do is connect uh, this up to the T flip-flop piston there so we'll just do a little L shape there and then put three redstone on those blocks we just placed now I kind of forgot um, to explain how this works um, so when the signal comes here it will pulse this and what this does is it gives it an update and it will swap it around it will come over here, it will turn this on and then what happens here is it turns this redstone on which turns these um, redstone torches off which starts the timer 
and then this will start moving into this chest here and when that's off this piston will de-extend which will then make the items go back to it and that will turn on this signal here which will pulse once and then it will turn this off turn this off again which will then turn off the timer and then that's will be, that will be the time when it gives you your item so it's, it's hard to explain um, if you're watching this um, and you don't know too much about redstone I try to make these as friendly as I can but anyway uh, let's continue with the build because actually we're not actually finished the last thing that we've got to do is um, toggling the output of the items so it can give it to you so you want to connect it up to this redstone source here so you put a block in front of that redstone there make it one more higher like that and then bring it one to two two blocks before the uh, hopper there so yeah that's two blocks you want to go up to it and place the remaining um, redstone on top of here and it should be exact boom now I was going to make a little area so we can actually uh, or a little platform so you want to place um, blocks around this top hopper here and then you want to place uh, hmm, where can I do it you can do it anywhere really I'm just going to do it like that so we're going to have it do do and then really I, what I need is a staircase but I don't have one at the moment you want to place a normal chest here go on top of it come around the back here get your hoppers out place one going into it like that and then you want to place two on the sides going into it and this is just for extra storage so if you had a server or something you don't have to keep refilling it all the time now placed your trap chest on top of that hopper there a chest on the side and the cool thing about trap chests I really like this is that they don't connect up and stuff so you can actually have chests next to each other now I'm just gonna get a staircase this is just so I can hide it so I've changed around the material to stone brick so I can actually hide it with the stair block that's actually a stair block there so I can still open this chest here now technically this work it this should work and we're gonna hope that it works um, but before we do that we actually need to fill up the chest so we're going to game mode one and we'll get out some iron blocks Oop, not coal not coal that will, do, that will do we'll put it in this chest here and if I put a diamond in you might have to wait you might have to do it a second time for the items to come out properly um, so we'll just test it now, we'll throw a diamond in you'll see that this goes off, the T flop, flop has switched around, the timer is activated now and you'll see that the items are passing through each other that will flip off sending a signal out oh it actually has to do it twice so um, this is the time when it will turn back on that will turn off, timer turns off and we should have 24 or 25, yep the first time it will have 24 but if you wait for the second time um, it will have 25 this time so we'll just wait for it and there we go we have 25 items and now this will do this all the time um, the first time you usually have to just get it warmed up and stuff but then the second time it's all good so this is the end of the tutorial. Please remember to leave a like um, if you found this tutorial useful. Um, leave a comment if you're going to be using it on your server or something like that. It would be interesting. Maybe leave your IP so I can check it out. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the next part of this tutorial where I'm going to be building um, the, the uh, other way. So if I put uh, 25 iron in, it's going to give me a diamond. So that's going to be really cool. So um, I'll see you guys later for that part. And yeah, bye.